Guys, guess what? Guess, guess what? I got another cane webbing furniture for you. So excited, let's go. Hey guys, what is up? It is me again, back with another furniture flipping YouTube video for you. In case you're new here, my name is Terry and I'm a full-time environmental scientist with a passion for using and refurbishing secondhand items. And so this week I am back with another furniture flip. And in case you didn't know, I have started this goal where I want to flip enough furniture to make enough money to fly my parents and me to Japan to have a family reunion with my sister. Um, we all haven't been together and so I think it'd be just a really great if we could all see each other again. Come along for the ride. I don't know how long it'll take, but you know what? Just have faith, right? <laughs> all right, let's get back to the video. I am back with this amazing piece of furniture behind me that I'll show you that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace for $50. It is like a side table cabinet thing and best of all, it has my most favorite thing, cane webbing. Let's see it. So the plan for this piece is kind of dependent on the weather because it's gonna rain and I don't have that much time. So it's already been sanded down by the previous owner. So I kind of like that neutral raw wood look. So there is, it is like a little bit uneven in parts. So I think I'm just going to clean it up with my hand sander um, and then see how it looks. I may or may not put a whitewash on it just to even lighten the wood even more. So as per usual, I wash my piece with TSP and make sure it's nice and clean and disinfected before I continue working with it. And then I take out my mouse detail sander and just go over the whole piece with 80 grit sandpaper. Um, and this was just because I wanted to even out some of the water damage and some uneven spots um, that was present when I got the piece. So we're back at it today, Sunday morning. I'm gonna try to finish or do some of it before I go to church in an hour or two. We'll see. <laughs> um, and so today I have to film in my office, as you can see, yeah, yeah, dual screen for work, um, because I don't have a garage and it's raining outside pretty heavily. Um, but maybe one day I will build like a work shed or something that's waterproof and insulated outside and it could be like my furniture flipping workshop oh my gosh that'd be the dream but for now we're gonna be in the office so let's continue on with the project shall we so I did decide that I want to lighten the wood color by putting a whitewash on it and so I had some leftover white chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and I mixed a two part water, one part paint mixture in the can because I didn't really have much left in the can. And I take a clean uh, paper towel, dip it in my solution and just apply it onto my dresser. And I kind of worked it into the wood and then wiped it off with a different dry paper towel to kind of um, take off any excess because I just really want a really thin transparent white layer on top of it just to make it give it that like bleached wood raw wood look
Hey guys, what is up? It is Terry and Russ, my dog. Um, so a few days ago, I started the cane cabinet. Um, my second cane cabinet that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And um, I moved it outside. Okay, Russ. I moved it outside because it stopped raining and it was really hard to work in my office and there was just like bad lighting. So today we're outside, we're gonna finish this up. Um, and I've had a few days to kind of think about it and to be honest, I wasn't sure how this one's gonna work out, but I think um, I know how we're gonna revive it. Hi Russ. Um, so let me show you what I think I wanna do. So this is how it looks like right now. It was sanded down to the raw wood and then I gave it a whitewash to lighten it up even more. So I'm so it kind of gives it this nice, like, natural raw wood look. The only thing is that kind of bothers me about this piece right now is like, for some reason, I have like spots on the this part of the wood that the whitewash just like is a bit more opaque than I like it to be. And so I kind of don't like it. <laughs> and it's like on each one of these pieces, like this, this and this um and so i also kind of like a little bit of you know contrast and drama um so i'm thinking now i'm gonna leave most of it you know kind of raw wood but i think i'm gonna give it some like accent color of i mean by color i mean i'm gonna paint this white to kind of give it some you know pizzazz a little sass to it so we'll see how it goes and hopefully that'll cover up the parts that i just like don't like like this part so you know crash and create right <laughs> here we go so i had some leftover chalk paint from the company country chic in the color simplicity it's a really nice pretty white and so i thought i would just keep this piece kind of neutral and um, paint the edges white and to prep I just tape off the areas that I want a crisp line on and I will soon start painting. After I painted all the edges white, I had the fun and satisfaction of pulling off all the frog tape. Then I decided that this piece needs some more personality. So I decided to take off all the hardware and I'm gonna spray paint it gold which I picked up from the hardware store. While I was waiting for the hardware to dry, I took that time to put on some clear coat onto the body of the piece. And here I'm just using Rust-Oleum's clear top coat. And normally I apply this with a country chic sponge because I find it has a really good and even application. But last time I used it, I didn't wash it fast enough and now it's ruined because there's so much hardened on top coat. So instead I'm using this sponge brush to apply it. Okay guys, so I put on the clear protective coat. I've spray painted the hardware gold and so fingers crossed that when it comes together, it looks decent, good? I'm not really sure. To be honest guys, this one was kind of hard for me to design and I don't know if it's because like work has been taking a lot out of me or it wasn't very feeling very inspired and so the design of this one kind of came harder to me than the last one. As I'm learning, um, 
sometimes you just gotta show up to your creativity whether you feel like it or not as i've been learning about creativity lately is that even though i don't feel like showing up or sometimes i just feel like the project isn't going right and it's not coming together that it's still worth it to at least try even if it may fail even if it may not look great or may not be my best work and i was thinking like as i do more furniture create kind of like a style that i like um that that i gravitated towards um until i get there if i ever get there it's not really a destination i think but until like i kind of figure out what style i like or if i have a signature it's good for me to just keep trying different things and try different pieces and try different styles oh yeah I don't know if anybody out there who owns a husky or a part husky, they are just, they, they tell you how they feel. This is his I'm excited slash hurry up woman. I wanna go for a run. This is his talking to me. Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> hey guys, oh, look at that. <laughs> Back from a run, I went for two and a half kilometers. Um, not too long, kind of feeling tired after being in the field today. But I'm back home, um, but I can't continue with my furniture flipping because I gotta cook some dinner. So tonight we are making some shrimp. Oh look, there's my roommate. Roommate, come say hi. Mickey here. <laughs> hi guys. <laughs> and tonight we're making some shrimp with coconut rice. We're gonna barbecue it, drinking some beers, um, and having some frozen peas and carrots. And then after that, I swear I'm gonna finish this furniture flip and put it on sale. So we'll see how it goes. All right, bye. Wait, 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 wait. I oh. promise I'm not that weird. The, the screaming was extra. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Barbecue shrimp for dinner. Check out dinner. We got barbecued shrimp, coconut rice, and just some steamed veggies. And a very whiny dog. Oh, whiny whiny. So I'm gonna mount this, then I'm gonna finish up, hopefully tonight, the furniture. So by the time I was done eating and cleaning and all the adulting stuff, it was dark. So I had my roommate help me move this back into the office and this is where I'm gonna complete the piece by putting all the hardware on and finish the staging. Also, let me know if your roommates like and keep Nerf guns around the house. I don't know if you can see, but there's a big rifle Nerf gun in the corner, the orange thing, and there's always Nerf gun fights happening in this house. So now it is my favorite part, the final reveal. This is what it looked like before I did anything. It was in pretty good condition and the previous owner honestly did most of the work for me by sanding it down to the raw wood. I just kind of cleaned it up and put a little sass to it. And here is the final look. This was a very simple furniture flip, but what I ended up doing was just doing a whitewash and putting white on the trim. Overall, it's a very nice neutral piece, which I think could sell, could not, we'll see. At the time of editing this right now, it hasn't sold, but I'll keep you updated what happens to this piece. So that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart for supporting me and my small channel. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys have an idea of what you want me to flip next, comment down below. I'm down for a challenge. All right, see you guys next week.